remember you can tap the screen and give hearts and tweet to me to interact. Don't? Woo! Hi guys! I am in the mood for some fun stuff today. So, I have a completely naked face. This is what I look like. I do get a little softening from the window behind me. Let me actually change that so it's not. There we go. Hi guys, hi Brandy, hi Jess. Let me see all my other regular she scopers who are on here. Say hello, so I missed a lot of you when I was like playing with the light. Um, welcome KJ Peace, hey Marion, Megan. <gasps> no, but I have your cookie butter, Megan. Uh, Chrissy, hi. Heather, hello. Stella Cat, hey you. Um, hi Sarah, Megan, all right, yay, we have lots of fun stuff happening. Okay, so, um, we're gonna do a couple things, and I know some of you might have to jump off and stuff, but first what we're gonna do is I'm going to show you guys what I do for the fun, fancy braids that I do, and I'm gonna do that first, since that's what I've actually had requests for. And then I'm gonna show you what I got in my Ipsy bag this month, although I will show you one of the things ahead of time. Um, and then I'm just gonna put on my makeup, like my everyday makeup, and I just thought it would be fun. I loved it when Donna did it. I've learned a lot from Heather. I'll get nervous if she's on here. Tiff, hi love. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Let me do this ahead of time so that I don't stop in the middle. Send me bueno party burritos. Megan wants her party burritos. Okay, first things first. Remember you can share by swiping up if you are on Android or from left to right, if you are on iOS, and if you think any of your friends would like my fun little braidness that I'm doing today, um, you can follow me at Lux in the Rough on Twitter. Aw, thanks, Tiff. It's, it was a little bit daunting to get on here with absolutely no makeup on and dirty hair, but that's kind of like the point of why I do the braids, so I had to do it anyways. Um, remember, you can find all of our other scopes from She Scopes on our YouTube channel. I just, oh, thank you. I just updated it this morning. And don't forget, tomorrow starts a new She Scopes challenge. Oh, whatever, Megan. I've seen you without makeup. You're beautiful. So there. Mm. Um, tomorrow's a new challenge. Remember, you can still do this week's challenge, and that is tell me about your favorite music in high school and college and your favorite music now. Jess, thank you so much for inviting your followers. That's so awesome. Okay, so, no, I don't lie. I am painfully honest. I can be awkward at times because when I see, like, for instance, babies, babies, newborn babies, they're not always cute, y'all. And then it's just like, They do look like little lizards sometimes. I'm just like, aw, so precious. Because all babies are precious. It's true, but I just can't say that smushed up babies are cute because, yeah. Hey, I know your baby will be beautiful. I've seen you, I've seen your husband. I have no worries about that whatsoever. Okay, so let's jump in to the reason that I braid my hair so regularly is because, <laughs> baby fro. Um, is because I have recently chosen to add a lot of highlights to my hair. I feel like that window is really messing things up. It will come out with a party burrito. It'll either be Chipotle or Bueno. Uh, Y'all, Megan is my beautiful pregnant friend. She lives in Virginia and she is um, expecting a baby. And uh, so that is all of the Chipotle and party burrito jokes. Okay, so I highlighted my hair and it um, obviously takes a toll. I knew that when I did it. But, um, so what I try to do is n go through a couple weeks at a time where I will not use heat on my hair, and then I go ahead and trash it for a little bit, and then I'll try to regroup. Um, I go in waves. Um, I don't wash my hair, but every, like, probably eight to ten days, um, I use dry shampoo in the meantime, and I'm going to show you that. I promise my hair will not look gross and nasty by the time I am finished. I literally haven't even brushed it today. I was going to show you the entire, literally the entire routine, okay? I am not tender-headed. I couldn't be with my hair. Aw, thank you. Yeah, I really, what I wanted was for this top part to be a little lighter, even just like her color of kind of like just really um, super light brown. 
but um, my colorist said that that wasn't going to work. So we went, aw, thanks, Christy. Um, so we went uh, not quite as light as I would have liked to. Okay, so I've combed through, and I have uh, released the handful of hair. Okay, so this is Not Your Mother's Clean Frank Dry Shampoo, okay? I'm going to post a link to this. It's going to be an Amazon affiliate link, so I'm telling you that ahead of time, on my Twitter and on my Facebook page. It will be made public, so even if you don't know me, you can still find the link to this. Yes, this is fabulous. There are other ones out there, and they stink to high heaven. <laughs> I do. I do. So you'll be able to find this specific one. It's my favorite. And then I heard that it's Heather's favorite, so I know it's good. Heather's my makeup artist friend. Megan, it's from Jesus. Okay, so watch what's going to happen. I really feel like that stupid light is making it hard to see. Okay. There's just going to be light issues, guys. So I'm going to all the places where my hair is. They sell it at Anthropology too? Crop pot chicken. Ooh, yum. Go you. You are multitasking. Okay, all the places where I start to feel icky. I know you're probably like, well, if you washed your hair more often, it wouldn't be icky, but I've heard it's really good for it, and my hair's improved. Hi, baby. Everybody say hi to my husband. He's here. Say hi, Jason. Okay. <laughs> Megan, drag me up. Okay. So when I do up at the top, sometimes there will be a little bit of a light dusting from... Oh, look at you guys all of my husband for me. All right, I just came out weird. That's not what I meant. Okay, so now I have to, <laughs> he's like, hey ladies. Now I have to kind of um, let it kind of dry and then I just kind of sh shake it out. And uh, it has a really light, fresh smell. Did I miss something? Or are you guys just laughing at my silliness and all of that? Okay, look at it. You guys are seeing things that only my husband has seen, where I look like, as my dad would say, la bruja, it means the witch, it's the witch hair. That was my Mexicanness coming out. That shot, I don't know, I don't know what just happened. You're gonna have to tell me later, Tiff. Did I, did I just look terrible for a second? <laughs> okay, so it's drying. And it's getting all light and yummy feeling. And it also adds a lot of um, texture to your hair. Oh, yeah, my crazy hair. That was awesome, huh? Just put it out there on Periscope. Um, and then YouTube. So if you have really thin, fine hair, um, this is also great for adding some volume to your hair using the dry shampoo. It doesn't all come out. So you end up with... Oh, awesome. You're going to have to send it to me. All right, okay, so now I'm combing through all of it. Hey, Donna. For anybody just tuning in, so far all I've done is I brushed my hair and it got wild. I was about to block you, Jay. I didn't realize that was you. I was like, oh no. Oh, it's gonna start the fight. It's a fight. <laughs> see, I see hot and I go to block. Babe, stop doing that, you're killing me. She is very happily married. She is all about her man. Mm hmm <laughs> Okay. So, now I have clean appearing. <laughs> Get in line. Clean appearing hair, okay? And it smells super good. <sighs> okay, next what I'm going to do is I had been wanting, um, I don't know if you say argan or argon oil, conga. Jason, get yourself under control. We don't conga. I am not Paula Abdul. Wait, that is the right one, right? Welcome, Katie Lamb. Hey, amino break, one second. Watermelon again. I'm going to post a link to my aminos, too. I figure I advertise for them so much. If you guys try them out, I should at least get a kickback or something, right? Okay. So, um, I had been wanting the argan oil, and it came in my ICSI bag. Stay from flames, candlelight stoves. That's true for me pretty much all the time. I should tell you the story about how I singed my eyebrows off once. Yeah. Aminos, 
Um, this is what I like live on. It is um, Amino Energy. I work out all the time, so it's got, um, I will, I will, I will, Jason, I will clean out your comb and I will clean off the floor, I promise. Yes, it has a super whole bunch of uh, caffeine in it, but it doesn't make me quite as irritable as too much coffee makes me. So that's a little happier. It's fruit punch flavor. It does have artificial sugars in it though. That is, it's one thing. Although Tiffany found one that doesn't. I'll post a link to that one too for you healthy people. Um, it's got a really, it is safe for pregnant people, but it's got a really, really high amount of um, caffeine in it. One, no, two scoops has like 160 milligrams, whereas a cup of coffee has like 60. So that's why I live on it. Yes, this is a specific amino energy one. So yeah, it is really good. Okay, so the next thing I do is I add the oil to the ends of my hair. If you don't have a ton of hair, you're gonna need to go light on this. I do have a ton of hair and it is bleached really, really light at the end. So um, it needs all the help it can get. I'm like, soak it up. There we go. <laughs> Y'all, we love each other. In case you were wondering. Is Tori up? She was like dead asleep. She can have the iPad now though. Uh, let's not talk about that. Anytime, I don't even post about being tired anymore. That sticker, no. Hey, I have friends who love Thrive. We can't hate on Thrive. All right, welcome. Okay, so we're about to start the actual braiding part, okay? We've done all the hair prep. We have dry shampooed. We have seen me look like a lioness with crazy hair. We have oiled the ends of my hair with the argan oil. And now I'm gonna be doing my favorite go-to braid because it looks super cute. And then I can it pulls it to the side and I can show off my pretty tattoo because I like to do that. Aminos and more aminos. I must have missed a conversation. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I don't like it when all of my hair is pulled back. So I pull out like a little piece. I know that it's going to end up looking messy by the end. It always, hi Eve, welcome. Um, it always looks really messy. So I just go with it and make it look like I did it on purpose. So I'm going to pull those pieces off and kind of get them out of the way. Get a nice big chunk. down and what I'm just doing is a small French braid but it's only going to be for like a hot second sometimes I mess up and I have to start over and so since this isn't edited if that happens you guys will see it oh thanks Liam yeah no blocking sweet little boys all right, so if you saw, oops, I want to add to that piece. I only French braid it for a second, okay? And then I'm going to extend the braid down, 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 down. And I'm going to use a little clear elastic, which I will not keep in my hair. It's just holding it for a second. I'm going to wrap Grab all this. You wanna know something funny I've learned since I've been on Periscope that I never knew before, which you guys have seen a couple times. I have a mad little cowlick back here that makes like a bald spot like all the time. Never knew that. Never knew it till I watched myself back on Periscope and like the fourth time it happened, I'm like, geez, that must be like that like all the time. All right, so that braid is just chilling back here, okay? So it wraps around. Next, we're gonna come, we're gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna pull, that's too much. I hear Tori talking to Jason. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this piece out, okay? I'm gonna loosen all this, and all this will get pulled out and look nice and messy in a little while. Okay, so I pull that piece out. I'm gonna come up here. Thanks for all the hearts, you guys. Oh, I let the boys make popcorn, sweetheart, for a snack. 
Sorry, I can hear the conversation going on outside the door. All right, and this is like a little bit delicate. Make sure I don't get the pieces I pulled out. I'm sorry if anybody's talking and I'm too busy concentrating. Forgive me. Thanks. For, wow, so many pretty hearts. Thank you. All right. And it is an arm workout. It's true. You know what used to really kill me is when I had hair. Oh, sorry. When I had, thank you, Marion, for throwing that when I had hair down to my waist until recently and I would blow dry it straight. Oh my God. All right, so I just got to right here and then I stopped pulling in more hair, okay? And I'm just going to give that a little bit of space because now we're gonna come to the side braid. Now I have to decide now if I just want to do traditional three strand braid Sometimes I do, I start with three strand, then I do a section of fishtail and I go back to three strand. I used to do, be able to repeat that because my braid would come down to here, but you know, we have the whole chopping incident, so that doesn't happen anymore. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll do the three strand to fishtail to three strand for today, okay? So now we just separate that into the three. Yes, I will throw the fishtail in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am only going to do the three strand braid for like a second. See, I'm already done. Oh, I found the little tie. Okay, tie is gone. Tie is flown somewhere in the bathroom. Okay, this is all way too tight. We're going to loosen it way up later. So this is where it gets a little complicated, okay? So we've got the three strand braid. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch to fishtail now. But it can go very, very wrong. And I found the best way to do that is not to try to divide this into two equal parts, but to take two sections together here and one section over here. Then whichever one is behind, you wanna start with that, grab a piece, wrap it around, okay? See how we're doing that? Now we're going to take a piece from back here and we're gonna wrap it around Put it together. All right, we're gonna repeat that. Here we go. It is throwing me off being on camera like this without any makeup. That is okay. I love you guys. You get to see what I really look like. Okay, and you know who? Oh, you know who looks amazing on camera with no makeup? Heather Spivey. Oh my gosh, her skin—it's out of control. Okay, sorry, I get distracted. And the fishtail is definitely, can you guys see that it's really like taking shape? And now, fishtails are so pretty, it's tempting to let them go on for too long. But I think we'll do one more. Aw, oh, thank you, Donna. We'll do one more. Okay, we gotta go back to regular braid now or else it'll just turn into like a weird, Really weird fishtail. So I still have one that is kind of thin and one that is thicker. So we're just gonna divide that into two. And this part, it can go wrong too. All the transitions are a little dicey. Yay, we did it. Okay, we transitioned back to the traditional three strand braid. Okay, when I had really long hair, I would worry about like, I would take a piece and pull it out here, I'll show you how it's done, although I'll tell you, I don't usually bother with this since my hair is shorter. But this is how you can get a, like an invisible elastic on there. Huh? Remember when I got to do your hair at Central Market? That was so fun. Okay, so see how I have this nice long piece? I'm gonna pull that out. And what I'm gonna do is wrap this around twice, then hold it. Okay, I'm actually gonna take this piece of hair and wrap it around most of the elastic and then pull it through that tail right there. Come on, little friend. And then you can pull that down and you have a little invisible one. Isn't that cool? Can you give me some hearts if you thought that was cool trick? And then we're gonna go through and we're gonna pull it out. Isn't that fun? Okay, now here's the thing. This is gonna, if, 
I was just doing this to look cute, take a couple of pictures, and then be done. I would just pull the heck out of it, make it super messy. But it's gonna naturally do that through, oh, look at this heart, thank you. It's gonna naturally do that throughout the day anyway. So I'm a little bit more judicious in my messiness creating, because life will make it messy enough, you know? But the higher up I get, the more I can, I can pull it apart, okay? Down here, this is where all my split ends, all the damage from bleaching my hair is. I'm gonna let that kind of just be happy, except I'll pancake that spot a little bit. I like when the dimension of the color shows. Okay, I have an amazing colorist. She's so fabulous. Okay, so there's that. Now, here's the fun part. I'm gonna come and take these out quite a lot. I'm gonna like make it cute because that was just all too stiff. Did you see how that was like too stiff and like, like all prom gone wrong looking? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Do you like that prom gone wrong? It's all just way too styled. Now when it falls apart and stuff, it'll look a little more natural. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Oh, um, credit. I learned how to do this from dissecting the Barefoot Blondes uh, braid tutorials and then changing them up and like, I just make them different all the time, add stuff. But it was her tutorials, YouTube videos, and Instagram that originally got me all excited about braiding. So you should check her out. She's awesome, she's adorable. She's like a little real life Barbie doll. Ta-da, there's my braid. I hope it doesn't look bad in the back. I can't see what it looks like in the back end. I hate to show it to you guys and be like, oh crud. Okay, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. You guys can see my look pretty pretty. Isn't that beautiful? That's why I wear my hair in a braid all the time. I like to show that off. Okay. Any questions on the braid? Yeah, sometimes little pieces go like that. I just stick them in. There we go. Any questions about how I did that or anything before we move on to the next bit of funness? Anything? You guys are quiet. Wow. You guys are oh, so quiet. Thanks, Brandy. I wanna, you have such long, pretty hair. I need to do it to your hair. Okay. Yay, I'm glad you like that, Megan. In fact, that's part of, I think, part of what I did for your hair for that wedding. Okay, so. All right. Next thing is gonna be really fast. How many people here have heard of Ipsy? Do you guys know what Ipsy is? Oh, yay, hi, Kendra. I'm gonna put a little more oil on the ends. Anybody heard of Ipsy? It is a fun little subscription program, you know, kind of like the birch box things, the different stuff. But um, I'm really particular about what body products I use. So, yay, Marion knows Ipsy. So I um, liked Ipsy better because it's more like beauty products. So I pay 10 bucks. Yay, Brandy knows Ipsy. And then I get a cute little bag. Oh, that's fun, Christy. We're doing our hair together. How girly is that? Next things, we're going to have to have a sleepover or something. We are. That is fun. I like that. Next time, do a private scope, and then I can watch you get ready. Because I want to see how you do the, the winged liner. You do it really, really well. Um, so this month, I pay 10 bucks. It comes to my door in a really pretty, like, bright pink foiled package. And there's a little cute bag. And then it'll have like a handful of fun things. So this month I got the Argan Oil of Morocco. I got a Lord and Berry Nude Lip Liner. So that should be awesome. I think I might try that today. This is a eyeshadow primer. And this I have already tried. It is a, um, they call it Salsa and it's a lip gloss, but it's uh, not true gloss. Heather would know what the real term for this is. It says lip, lip gloss, but it's like opaque, but not too much so. And then a navy waterproof eyeliner, which I will probably never use. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. If anybody wants it, you can have it. Yeah, look, Megan, it's perfect for you. It's makeup that's named after Mexican food. So that's what's in my Ipsy bag. If you want to subscribe to Ipsy, and you want to help me out, I get points if you sign up 
for it from me. So you can go to tinyurl.com slash Melissa Rose Ipsy and it'll, cause you know, their link is retarded. Oh, horrible thing to say. I'm sorry. Their link is really long and difficult to remember. Okay. So, um, you can do it through there. All right. That was fun. Next, cause I really am just getting ready. I'm going to get ready. This is the e.l.f. Um, primer that Heather told me about. It's amazing. Oh yeah, I did moisturize already. I use my doTERRA moisturizer because I really, really, really like that. It's the anti-aging one, not the barrage one. Okay. So Heather told me about this because my makeup was wearing off like really badly, especially on my nose. And so she told me to start using this and it's like six bucks or something something really inexpensive okay now i don't do this in the right order you're supposed to actually do your eyes first so that if there's any fallout um that window is really making me crazy oh i'm moving the tripod there we go wait what uh what i'm using right now the primer it's a silicone based primer, mineral infused face primer, and it uh, makes it all like stay better and last longer. So, um, there's more expensive ones, but this is one of the best ones for the price. Um, Heather's done all kinds of testing. Uh, where did I get my tripod? I got it off of Amazon. I will post a link for that too, because it's the best thing that I bought. I am getting some special lenses for my camera for when I do interviews though. How cool is that? They're clip on lenses for your phone. Um, I am pretty stoked about that. Okay. So now I have this really nice finish. This is fun. You guys, I like this. Hey, Mustafa. What is that? That reminds me of, um, Lion King. I know it's Mufasa, but still. Okay. Uh, this is MAC. This is MAC Studio Fix Fluid, and it is NW20. And I've had it for like six months, and it lasts me forever. I don't, okay, you're supposed to use a brush. Brushes are better. But it also creates like a really perfect look, and um, for every day, I don't want to actually look that perfect, if that makes sense. Like, because I want for there to be a difference. Like, when I get dressed up to go out with my husband, I want to, like, wow him. So, I don't actually do this the right way on an everyday basis, but I'm kind of doing it like that on purpose, if that makes sense. So, instead of using a brush and applying it properly, I use my fingers. And I don't use very much makeup anymore now that my face is finally clear. I'm not doing anything special today. Heather has shown me and taught me really subtle ways to contour, but I don't do any of that on a daily basis. Okay. Did you know that foundation goes first and concealer comes afterwards? I did not know that until just a few months ago. But it's true. Makes so much sense, too, because how many times have you put concealer on and then you put foundation over the top and your concealer's gone? So this is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. NARS. Got this in Vegas. This is light to vanilla and vanilla. I'm the most vanilla Mexican you'll ever meet. I just use a tiny bit and it's one of the uh, like light diffusing ones. So it's really good for these places. I hope I'm not doing anything wrong, Heather. I get nervous about doing makeup -y stuff because it's hard when you're one of your best friends is like super ex expert. You know what I mean? Okay. Before I go on, Oh, let me grab my, I have bags everywhere because I have so much stuff that I have to have little, I have all my Ipsy bags that I've put to good use. So I have one for brushes, one for like face foundation blush, blush, one for lips, and then a big bag for eyes. Cause that way I can grab stuff quickly instead of sorting through a giant drawer. So it looks like this. This is the one with my eye stuff. Hold on. What am I doing? Let me just turn it. So that giant one has all my eye stuff cause I have lots of that. And then I have little bags that sort. Um, everything else out. Heather would definitely be able to tell you something to be using in high humidity. Yes, I'll ask her. You can ask her. But yeah, she would definitely be able to help you with that. 
And just so you know, it does, my face and my skin look better than this light is showing. I've got one fluorescent bulb and three dead ones because they were crappy bulbs. And then I've got the weird light backlighting, but it actually looks pretty darn good. All right. And then I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but it's how I do it. I put my blush on before I put my powder on because then it like softens it. This is another MAC one. It is Blush Baby, and I really like it. Jason says I have the scariest smile when I do my blush. She says He says it's super creepy. But I want this part to pop up. Okay, so I put a little bit too much on because it's all going to get like... And again, it doesn't look so great. Who? Creeper me? With my smile or I had a creeper? I don't know which it is. Did I have a creeper or was I being the creeper? You can tell me. To me, Megan. Talk to me. Okay, and that's all. Oh, yeah. Creeper smile. It was. But it works. So, I don't know. I guess I could try this eyeshadow primer and I'll let you guys know if I like it, okay? I'm just going to put a little bit on and it's not very, there we go. So eyes, there's so much stuff. I like to play with eyes a lot because I've got big eyes. There's a lot that I could do on a daily basis. Usually I just do like a light shimmer all over with maybe a little bit of depth over here and then shadow liner. And mascara, if I'm going all out, then, you know, all bets are off. Anything could happen. Let me fix my weird gaps in my eyebrows. Do you like how I'm using you guys as the mirror instead of the actual mirror? I barely pluck my eyebrows because I'm so afraid of messing them up. I only, I don't shape them or do anything. Hi! Crystal, um, I'm super afraid of messing them up, so I just let them kind of do what they're going to do. Love you, Brandy. Mm -hmm. Bye. Um, so all I do is I use one of these to, hold on, let me use the actual mirror. I bring that up and over because um, I know there's a lot of shaping and cool stuff you can do, but I'm just I'm too chicken. Here is my favorite eye makeup brush. I got it in an Ipsy bag. Thank you, babe. I'm hoping I'm talking to my friend Crystal right now that I just called you, babe. I'm pretty sure it's Crystal. Okay, um, if it's not, <laughs> hi. Um, this has my favorite eyeshadow one. And then, okay, good. <laughs> um, and then this has got this little, this is what Heather does to show it off. Yep, it totally does work. This brush on the end, and that's what I'll use for my eye um, liner. Let's do, this is a really fun base color. It came in an Ipsy bag. I know tons of my makeup is from Ipsy. It's been the best thing I ever did, except it's, it's a really cheap little container. Open up. I went to get in. Yes. Can you see the gouges in there from when I've tried to get it open and just had like total fails happen? Okay. I'm just gonna use this as like a man. My skin does not look as good in that as it does in real life. I promise my foundation looks much better than this. I remember um, this one is it is Rob Sheppy, Teeny Beauty, like Teeny and Martini, and it is Pearl Fizz. I can actually get you a link to this too. I'm good with links, okay? Um, it is a really great base color. It's got a little bit of shimmer, but not actual glitter, which sometimes I like that, but not always. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do, okay, I will, I'll get you that. Here's another one I got from Ipsy. It's Pacifica Natural Beauty in the color Treasure. And sometimes I even use this as an eyeliner, but today I'm gonna go like that. And then like 
focusing. Just a little bit. That way people aren't like, what's this girl all dolled up to like, go to Aldi for? Although I am going to a thing tonight. I'm gonna to go to my husband's work and watch like a team building thing that they're doing. It's gonna be fun, because I won't have kids. Anything without kids is pretty fun. I love my kids, but I love getting away from my kids too. We have some hearts if every mama out there knows how that is. I love my kids and I love leaving my kids and then I love coming home to my kids. It's the best thing ever. Crystal's like, yeah! I see those chocolatey hearts from Crystal. Okay, so this is really subtle, but I really like it. It's very pretty to me. It looks way better in that mirror. I don't know if it would work to go like that. Can you guys see? Nope, no better. It was a good experiment though. Now I know it doesn't work. Mm. Okay, so that's good enough for just around. And now I'll do the fun eyeliner trick that Heather taught me. This is a really old falling apart palette from Too Faced. <laughs> It's well loved. Well, the top is, the brown stuff is. Um, brown and black, not much for purple. Um, first I'm gonna use the really dark. Yeah, see I did all of this, but you'll be able to catch it on the replay. As soon as I'm done, you can go back and you can push play and you can watch the beginning. You get to see my hair be wild and untamed and then I will restrain it. She's like, no, I wanted to see the braid part. Okay, so I took the dark color the dark brown, and that's what I'm gonna use to line my eyes. I'm sure Heather is much better at this, but uh, what, what I love about this is it can be so messy and still look so cute when you're done. And I like to use browns most of the time. She has been doing it for much longer. That's a good point. I like to use browns. Hold on, I gotta come over here. And then save the black for like when I'm uh, trying to knot my husband's socks off. All right. Okay, so I took that dark, dark brown as a base, and then there's a color called Clove that's right next to it. Boop. And I like to take that over the top of it because it's all shimmery. I don't do subtle. Mm -mm, I don't. So that's what it kind of looks like. Let's see the other eye. See, that's the difference between Periscope and YouTube. In YouTube, you would just cut out all the in-between. Oh, I see a color. Oh, yes. So it's a two, it's a dual end. This is from Crown Brushes, although it comes from a lot of different companies. I got this in an Ipsy bag, too. My makeup game has gone way up since Ipsy. For $10 a month. Wait. Sorry, I really take my time on this part. I wing it out just a little bit, but I know a lot of people don't when they're doing shadow liner. I will. That is awesome. And back to the clove for a little bit of shimmer. Ooh, and then I'm going to tell you guys my secret, my mascara secret. This is a legitimate secret. Well, a legitimate trick. It's not a secret. I've said it on Facebook before. My eyelashes are really long. I do not have extensions. They're not curled right now. That's just how long and thick they are. I've always had good eyelashes, but they recently got way better. Do you want to know what the secret is? Okay, so I'm not using any kind of special 
mascara. My mascara is just this one. I get it off of Amazon in my subscribe and save. I'm a super huge fan of subscribe and save because I'm actually, okay, I am an extrovert in the sense that being around other people and making, making connection, it fills me with energy. But I'm also a hermit. I do not like to actually go anywhere. So I have to force myself to go to the store and to go places. Hi, baby. Um, and so subscribe and save <laughs> saves me trips out and that makes me very happy. Okay, so here is what I do for my eyelashes. That is awesome. This is it right here. I put two or three drops of this in my mascara and it took, um, I think it was like three months before I saw any real difference and then it was like, it was like pow. And for a while, I even stopped curling my eyelashes because I really don't need to. It's it's bad. I once went like three weeks without leaving the house. And people were like, are you depressed? Are you Is something wrong? I'm like, no, this is perfection. Like there was an ice storm, so other people were bringing me stuff or getting stuff for me. See, I'm a bad driver. But I'm a bad driver that knows I'm a bad driver. So I'm probably one of the safest drivers out there because I am paying attention. And if weather is bad, I'm not going anywhere because I know my limitations. I can think of some people who could learn from me. Not even play. Um, anyways, so three weeks, didn't leave the house. I'm a hermit. I believe in subscribe and save. Mascara with lavender and, here's the lavender one. Lavender and, <laughs> you're like, yeah. Lavender and rosemary. So the lavender is actually for my allergies. Oh, you're not supposed to say that anymore. Whatever. I don't really do doTERRA anymore, but you can still get it from me if you want. Um, I just don't make it a priority. Yes, so good for bug bites and uh, sunburns. That's that's the big one. Sunburns, allergies, and um, my my mascara. So look at let's get crazy. Ooh. I'm gonna use this to curl my eyelashes into. This gets complicated because if you like leave some out, it looks so weird. There, that's pretty good. So I always have to come over and do these edges first. Um, funny thing about me, Heather and I have discovered this. Somebody else cannot curl my eyelashes or do my eyeliner without sending me into a panic attack. I um, flip out on the inside. I can keep it all inside. I can keep it together and get it done. But um, every time, panic attack. Every time. If you're still here with me, give some heartsies, heartsies. We are almost finished. It's like the longest scope ever, but this is what it takes for me to get ready. You know what I should do if I ever do a getting ready scope again? Oh, thank you for the pink hearts. Who are sending those pink hearts? Is that my Megan? Uh, I should get music next time. Right now I hear whatever movie, hi Megan, whatever movie my husband is watching. It has Val Kilmer and it's like a college, it's like about science or something. He froze a hallway. It looks hilarious. I really wanted to stop and watch it, but look at how pretty. I really love what those oils have done for my eyelashes. I wonder what my eyelashes would look like with extensions. Sometimes I want to try just to see like how crazy it would be. Yeah, I totally just bumped my eyeball with the mascara wand, but I have contacts, so my eyes are used to getting like manhandled. So I'm all right. Isn't that crazy? Oh, don't you hate, does anybody else do that? Like you're taking it away and you like coat a piece of hair. Mascara. Sorry, I blink a lot when I do this to kind of pull my eyelashes into the wand. Look at the difference. Hmm, pretty. Now this makes the whole all I need is Jesus and mascara shirt make more sense. I was hating on it yesterday. Well, not hating on it, just saying it was incomplete. Because I'll take tequila over mascara any day. But... Maybe they've got a point. <gasps> you ordered a Chipotle shirt? Was it from that cool website you sent me? Or was it like from Chipotle? Oh, that's cool. Hold on, I have to come to the real mirror for a second. 
Do you guys have one good eye that behaves and one eye that's naughty, like, all the time? Is that just me, or does anybody else have one eye that just, like, nothing ever quite cooperates the same? Like, maybe the eyelashes grow funny or something? I don't know. But I always have to, like, mess with this one. Okay, that makes me feel better. I'm like, why? What is wrong with you? This is the rebellious eye. Eyeliner. Yeah. Look at now it's working. I mean, they must just grow funny on that side or something. I don't know. This is like, yes. That is such exactly what happens. You guys, nobody but you will ever see this part of the scope or YouTube video because nobody else is going to sit through all of that. But guess what? We made it. It was super fun getting ready with you guys. Okay. Um, let me tell you about a really cool product. This is e.l.f. Another the eye lip face. It's at Target. Sorry. I'm like shoving my boobs in your face. Um, on one side, it is primer for lips. On the other side, this is the side I use. It is plumper. So it's got like peppermint oil and different stuff in there to like irritate your lips. But makes them like really like plump and rosy. And I kind of like how it burns. Like it's like a pepperminty burn. Hi, Chrissy. This is my elf. I know. Well, I don't, I don't get Botox or like lip filler or anything. But like I totally would. I like imagine that it's the same kind of like embrace the pain kind of thing with this stuff it burns and i love it love it i also like getting tattoos though and that hurts so but um sometimes for everyday stuff look at like my lips are already they're changing color and they're like getting really full mm -hmm. sometimes i just don't even bother putting on lipstick i just throw this in my purse and i use that Ooh! tingling but you know what I'm gonna try that nude lip liner and see if I like it let's see I'm gonna fill it in yeah it's at Target do you see the difference in my lips like just since I put that on and it was not expensive uh, on a day that I do wear like red lipstick or like baby pink or something that I want to last I'll use the primer side underneath it I'll do the lip plumper first, then the primer. Ooh, that burn. I love it. Today, I'm just going to use this new nude lip liner, and that's it. I hear Tori. She's still sitting napping. She's not. There. That is my whole process, y'all. In like... It takes long. It doesn't usually take this long, but you know, I was talking to you and hanging out. So I don't know if you can tell. I just look normal. Mm. That lip liner is a little bit dark for a nude for me. Uh, but it's also, oh, probably that all the blood is rushing to you. everything. In real life, I look nice, but pretty natural. Let's see. You can see. No, you're just not going to. Aw, thanks. Well, thank you for joining me, you guys, for my little craziness. That was super fun. We should do it again sometime, and I will do a different braid because I've got some other ones that I think are cute. Oh, you know what? Usually I will put a little bit of eyeliner on my moles to help help them pop and be obviously that, like, these are moles. These are not pimples, but I didn't do that yet. Um... We'll do other braids. We'll do other fun stuff. And maybe next time, I know, that's the that's the truth. I'm like, I'm not broken out. It's like a permanent mole that's just pink instead of brown. And I just think, I feel like it should be more, like, assertive in its, like, beauty markness and moleness and less, like, kind of wishy-washy. Like, what am I? I just want it to be, like, boom. It's, yeah, I actually really like my, my moles. I have um, some others right there, which is the only reason I don't want a collarbone tattoo on either side because I like I like those and I don't really want anything um like competing with them mm -hmm. so no tattoos across here for me 
we'll work on the other ones with my husband. Anyways, thanks for joining me. That was my first super girly scope. I know it went long, but if you wait till tomorrow, it'll be up on YouTube and you can like fast forward through parts and like check it all out and we'll do more fun girly stuff soon. And that's it. I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.